Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, it's me Cowboy Jack and today I'm really excited. We're out in Wood Forest in Montgomery, Texas and check out where we're at. That's right, we're at Montgomery County ESD3 Station 34. Wow, that's a lot of big words. This is the fire station that takes care of all of Wood Forest, Ridge Lake Shores, Montgomery Trace and all these really cool neighborhoods out here. They have a really big fire truck and a really cool station, really pretty place. We're gonna go inside and check it out and we're gonna meet a real hero, a couple of real heroes. The people that make sure that we're safe and get to have a lot of fun and if anything bad happens, they come and help us out real quick. So let's get inside and meet firefighter Courtney. She's gonna be showing us around this place today. Oh wow, they even have a really huge flagpole out there. If you notice, you can see, well, though it's not very windy today. We're in the heat of summer, but there's the American flag right above the Texas flag. They even have the Lone Star in the concrete right here. Let's go on inside and meet a real hero. Come on. Wow, this place is incredible. Oh, hi. How are you? Good, I'm Cowboy Jack. I'm Courtney. All right, so you're a firefighter. Yes, sir, I am. That's amazing. How long have you been a firefighter? About six years. Six years? <laughs> six years, that's a long time. Well, thank you for helping us and making sure we get to stay safe. No problem. That's so awesome. What made you want to become a firefighter? Uh, my family serves in the military. We have a lot of family first responders and I just wanted to follow in their footsteps. That is so fantastic. A whole family of people willing to serve and give their time to help protect the community. Well, thank you for doing what you do. That's so cool. So how long have you been at this station? I've been here for about three years. Wow. And what's your job? Like what? Everybody has a different role in the station, right? So what do you do? Right. So right now I'm just a firefighter, but I also drive the big trucks all the way down to the little trucks for EMS. She gets to drive the big trucks. That is so cool. Are they hard to drive? Um, I don't think they're that hard, but it depends on who you ask. Just try not to hit any curbs or you gotta <laughs> give ice cream to the other firefighters. Uh-oh. Does it feel weird when you get in your own personal car after a long day of work? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, could you show us around this station? It looks like such a cool place. No problem. So wow. this is where we eat all our food. You have like a full-blown yeah. kitchen in here. I Big see some island. familiar things, right? <laughs> Pizza boxes. Yeah, the community but drops off food to us all the time. But I see something really good on the stove back yeah. there. And I heard earlier they're actually cooking a gumbo for yeah, tonight. Yeah, we're making gumbo tonight. Firefighter Ben. That's awesome. Well, <laughs> I know all us Texans really love our gumbo, so that's great. <laughs> Y'all have a great place to lounge around and relax. Yep. I even see a foosball table over yeah. there. Um, like again, the community, we have a really good relationship with them and they like to donate this stuff for us and we're very, very appreciative of That's it. That's cool. I bet you guys are good at darts. Ah, if we have time, we'll play. <laughs> I'm not very good at darts. I always get what I love to call dart elbow. When you throw like this too long, your elbow starts to hurt. It's real funny. So when you're, this is like home, this is like your kitchen when you're on duty. Mm -hmm. But where do you sleep? We have dorms back here. You have dorms, wow. So dorms. everybody gets their own yep. space. So if we, if we smell, we have a laundry room. That's great. I bet you get really sweaty yeah. in these Texas summers. Oh yeah, it's real hot. And then back here, it's just like bedrooms and restrooms, so. Wow. That is really cool. So everybody gets their own little room to hang out in and get some rest because you work a long time, yeah. right? So you guys work for how many hours straight? So we have 48 hours straight and then we'll have four days off. So two days, we're here. Four days, we're at our homes. Wow, two <laughs> days straight at work. Two days you straight. work a lot harder than Cowboy Jack does. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, thank you for showing us this. Oh wow, there's even stairs here at the yeah. fire station. I didn't realize you guys had a, a second level. Yeah, so when we're not making calls and we're here, we all try to work out and keep healthy. So Whoa, 
you guys have a lot of great equipment in here. Yeah. So yeah. this is where we grow our mussels and eat our Wheaties. Whew. I need to work on that. I'm not feeling that strong these days. They have a treadmill. They have free weights with barbells. I think these are cool. I don't know. Maybe Count Woodjack doesn't know his way around a gym that well. But I see dumbbells. I know what those are. That's cool. Wow. And see, they can come in here when they're not out on a call and work out and make sure they're in tip-top shape because they have a really physically demanding job. So the gotcha. new guy has to study even though he got hired for a year for a big test just to make sure that he's ready to be a firefighter and serve the community. Oh wow, so this is the newbies. Newbies. How many newbies do you guys have at this station? Um, we just got done with three newbies oh. and we're probably going to end up with another one at the end of the month. That's really cool. That means new people are coming into the profession because this is such an important career path. Wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you have out there? Well, I saw a big truck out there. Yeah. Can we so, go look at that big truck? Yeah. And she drives it, so she should know her way around it really well. Okay. All right. You, you get to be the new driver of a ladder truck. Can you drive a ladder truck? Uh, sure. I can pretend like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you find the keys, you can drive it. Uh-oh. Guys, I got to find the keys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so this is a ladder truck. Yes. The pumper trucks are the ones that carry all the water inside yeah. of them, right? So, it'll be a big word, but this will be a quint. So, we can reach really, really, really high with ladders, but we have some water. Oh, okay. Up to 500 oh, gallons is in that truck. Wow. And this hose is connected. So, this is a fire hydrant. Yes. Then you have this hose running all the way from this hydrant into the truck which has the pumps on it which give right. you all the pressure yep that is so cool yep. wow yeah. there's like a whole bunch of lights and gauges yeah. and all these things and we to make it easier we color coded it so this hose is connected and it's blue so this is what we know to give you water okay yeah. very cool so you've yeah. got red yellow gray brown blue purple black wow that's a yeah. whole lot of colors and i love this hose this is this is so strange because your normal hose at your house you would feel mm -hmm. kind of feels like rubber but this right. actually feels like fabric and i bet that's because it's got a lot of pressure going yeah through. so we can call this like a hose jacket or hose lining and oh is there rubber inside of this mm -hmm. Oh, that yeah. makes sense. Just so that it can hold all the water and the pressure that we're given in there. Okay, that's cool. Well, I see you've got this hose hooked up. What What is that hooked up for? I thought maybe since you came all this way, you'd like to flow some water. Wow, they're going to let Cowboy Jack flow some water through a hose? Yeah. I don't know if I can even hold on to that thing. Does it? Is it hard to hold? I won't bump it up too hard. <laughs> All right, well, just tell me what to do and I'll be All happy right. to do it. Okay, give me one second. Hey, Firefighter Racine, come here. <laughs> oh, wow, we've got another firefighter right. here. All right, can you get this truck going so we can get him? Of course. Okay, and I'll go down there with you just to make sure that you don't lose it, okay? Wait you a gotta second. You got to turn the pump on. He just started it and I didn't see the keys. I know, I said there's not a key. Ooh, I got to find the keys so that I can drive this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got to turn it on. It's going to be really, really loud. Wow, that is really loud. All sorts of different noises and things because all these different big tools are working. Here we go, guys. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to do, I want you to tell them you're ready. Do this. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, wow. You can see the pressure building down the line. Whoa. That is really cool. Think you can hold it? I think so. All right. Only one way to find out, right? Right. All right. Here goes nothing. Whoa. This is crazy. Right. And you can turn it left or right. Wow. 
Wow, anybody need a car wash? Woo! There you go. <laughs> that is so cool. So do that, watch this. Hold it. You got, got it. to actually hold it. Okay. Whoa, guys, look at how far that water is spraying. That is crazy. You guys see how far that's spraying? There you go. Wow. Hey guys, come take a look at this a little bit closer. So this isn't like just any hose nozzle. This is a yeah. specialty nozzle, this right? And I guess you have the ability to make it like a big shower mm -hmm. or like a really concentrated steam stream. Yeah. So I guess when it's a really sharp, far stream, you're trying to point it at a fire that's a little bit farther away. Correct, correct. Wow. And then when we turn it for left, we say left for life. So we're just trying to cool us off or we're trying to just cool down the area. This is crazy. I mean, this apparatus is just huge. That was really cool. Can I spray it one more time? Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys. Why are you getting away? Come on, don't be scared. <laughs> Wow, that is crazy, and that's a whole lot of water coming out. Yeah. Wow, well, I don't want to waste water in this Texas heat. Yeah. Vital. Well, I guess I'll turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Got> it. <laughs> well, okay. see, that's why we leave it to the professionals. I didn't know what I was doing, and I turned it up higher than turning it off. That was a little bit funny, but it looked like it was even raining over there. That's a crazy amount of water that it put out in such a short period of time. And that's really important because just like if you had a fire and you tried to put it out with just a regular hose, you don't have enough water to get the job done. This pump and this truck makes all of that water possible. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay. You want to see in it? Yeah, let's take a look around it. All that's right. Cool. We're going to let our guys turn the truck off. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to show you where everybody sits and some of our cool tools if you want to see them. Absolutely. All I'd right. love to see those tools. Wow, that was really exciting. You know what? It's actually really hard work to hold that big hose. It has a lot of pressure. Did you say you want a fire cone? We have property Oh, wow. That was really loud. That was the brakes letting out. Firefighter Courtney wasn't joking. She actually is the driver of this really big fire truck. That is so cool. Wow. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I put it back up. Wow. So you do actually drive this thing. Yeah. That was so cool. And you pulled it in. Look, these doors aren't all that big. She must be really skilled to get it in here. Wow. All right. Let's show you around. So. This is what we call the officer seat. The so officer seat. Who's who's in charge of us? Uh, it will be the lieutenant. Okay. Or pretty soon, he'll be the captain. So the captain will sit here, and he has to control that big computer that tells us where all the incidents are. Wow, that's like a command center. Look yeah. at all that information up there. So we have the gear, we have the walkie-talkies, or we call radios. Yeah. And we even got this. So this is called a tick. What does that do? It can see all kinds of heat. Oh, wow. So that's like a thermal camera. Yeah, thermal camera. Wow. Well, don't point it at me. Yeah. I'm pretty hot right now. <laughs> So when we go inside and it's really, really smoky. You can't can... tell exactly where the problem is, but that'll give yep. you the ability to see it. That's so cool. I bet yeah. that saves a lot of time too. It really does. It saves it, time and saves and lives. And it'll tell us temperature too. So wow. it'll show us when it's really, really hot or it's really, really cold. Well, I guess in Texas right now, it's just okay. showing that everything's hot. <laughs> okay. So this is the back seat. Wow. So in here, we have all kinds of stuff. This is where the firefighters will sit. Okay. So if I'm going to a fire call and I'm not driving, I'm always sitting here. Okay. So we have that, we got big lights, got our mask. Wow, I bet that's really important to keep you safe while you're doing your job. Exactly. 
all kinds of stuff. And then our air packs are all here. So when we get our gear up, we'll put this on. Boom, we got fresh air flowing. Wow, okay. That is so cool. <laughs> it's almost like you're scuba diving, but on land. Yep. <laughs> All right. I mean, it just looks like this entire vehicle is just covered up with tools and equipment. How do you keep it all straight in your head? Just a lot well, of training, I bet. Training and experience, yep. right? Just like when you're in school and you do homework and you gotta remember as you go to the next grade, you got to remember where your tools are. See, we always talk about that. Whenever you do something for the first time, you're not very good at it. Mm -hmm. But over time, we practice and we get better. And eventually, yeah. we're almost perfect at yes. it. <laughs> wow, this looks like a lot of big machinery. Yeah. So we got big saws. So this would be what you call a K-12 saw. Then we have what some people know is the jars of light. I've seen those before. Yeah, so when there's a really, really big car accident, we can take these out there and help us get the doors open and get to y'all. That's very cool. It's and you use this saw to like cut open roofs and things like that? No, um, mostly we just use, and it looks just like your home chainsaw. And we wow. call it a ventilation saw. So this is what we're mostly taking on to the roof. This can kind of help us get through chain link fences, maybe garage doors or wow. um, shelters. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. I can fix that later. <laughs> I'm short, I have to jump. That is so cool. Yeah. Then we have extra bottles. Oh, wow. These bottles are rated for 45 minutes. So on average of a firefighter with a 45 minute bottle, you can be in a burning building or pulling ceiling for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Because we're working really, really hard. And, and you're this, going through the air very quickly, yes. right? So, now, is that actually full of oxygen or is that just mixed ambient air? It's uh, room air. Room air, yes. okay. It comes from a cascade system and that's how we fill them up. Okay. I see there's lights just everywhere. Lights everywhere. Whoa, Ooh. I see a generator. Yep. Yep. Those are important to us here in Texas. <laughs> I need to be your friend when it's yes. hurricane season, right? So we got generators. <laughs> extension cords and more lights really big lights yeah wow. so when it's dark pop it out for you when it's dark we can go in there we go and wow. set all this up and it sits this tall oh wow so it's Six got like feet. i see that there yeah. this probably comes out and kind of like a tripod stand but it's a single tower yep that is so cool. Okay. And we said that's our big ladder or what we like to call an aerial ladder. Aerial ladder? Aerial ladder. Wow. So those two, three story buildings or apartments, mm -hmm. that's really, really useful, especially if the house or the area is far away. We can spray a lot of water out of that. Wow, and that thing extends. Like, guys, if you can come over here and take a look, that ladder runs the length of that truck, but that's just one piece of it. I think there's actually three sections to that. Three sections, so wow. it's gonna go 77 feet in the air. 77 feet in the air, that's really far. And you know what's uh, what else is really cool about it? We've learned about this a few times on the show. It looks like it's all controlled by hydraulics. You're correct. So we have those, but then we also have ground ladders. Oh, okay. These look like the ladders I used to put up Christmas yeah. lights sometimes. So do you want to have to put that up all the time? No, that no. seems like it would be a lot of yeah. effort and a lot of energy. So a lot of times when we show up to your house or we might need to change the fire alarm, we're probably going to grab one of these ladders. Okay. 
And our largest one is 35 feet. Whew, I don't think I'd want to yeah. go 35 yeah. feet up on a ladder yeah. like that. So, but normally we're going to be pulling the attic ladder or the roof ladder, even the extension, which is the 24s. Wow. Yeah. All right, let me ask a silly question. Is there such thing as a firefighter who's afraid of heights? There are. Really? Yep. And Seems I know like a, heights I know are, a few of them. Heights are just such an important part of the job, but I guess, you know, there's plenty of jobs to go around and not everybody has yeah. to go up on a ladder. Right. So because this is the ladder truck, most times we're going to go on the roof. Okay. Yes. So we have those and then we have what we call pike poles. So this is a six foot pike pole. And we can use this to like pull ceiling. So if there might be fire in your walls or your ceiling, uh -huh. we can go up there and pull it down to give access and then spray water into it. Wow, that's kind of just yeah. like a large size yeah. fire poker. Yeah. Kind of like what you would have at home for your fireplace <laughs> yep. if you have natural log fire. So we have, we'll have this for pulling ceiling. We can use it for overhaul, exposing hidden fires in the wall. Wow. We've used a lot of stuff and then even sometimes we can put it on a rescue basket to help us. Oh, okay, to so like hand people mm -hmm. things. Oh, okay, very cool. Yep, and like always, you put it up where you found it. That's right, that's really important, especially on a fire truck, because whenever you need something in a rush, you expect to go where it's supposed to be and get it right away so that you can finish doing your job. If you had to go hunting for where those were left last time, it wouldn't be very efficient probably wouldn't be real happy with the firefighter who did that, would you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and this is just our O3 compartment. This is um, pieces that we'll put on the hydrant. Okay. So we can actually make those connections with that big hose you see. Yeah. That's a five inch. So we use that as a supplies hose to give the hydrant water to the truck. Okay. So we have that. We have salvage covers or uh, floor runners and that's just to keep our stuff clean okay. or when people get really really tired from all the work they're doing we can go send them to rehab so they can breathe drink some water and kind of cool off okay and then the most important part ice water hydration <laughs> yeah that's really important even if you're not a firefighter you especially need uh, no thank you i had a big one on the way here but that all is right. very true we always have to stay hydrated it's such an important part of our lives especially when it's hot like it's it's about 100 degrees outside today it's pretty hot you don't even realize how much moisture you're losing out of your body just by being outside Whew, i mean i re realize it because it is hot 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 you know what hey I think those guys are laughing at my hair. Are you guys laughing at my hair? All right, I'll put the hat back on. <laughs> wow, I see this right here. You guys see what that says? Diesel fuel only. You guys heard this big truck running and it's got a big powerful engine, so it needs to run on diesel so it can have all that extra horsepower. Yeah. It has a 50 gallon tank. 50 gallon tank? I bet you'd have to stop at several different stations to fill that up, especially <sighs> with gas prices the way they are. <laughs> all right. So this is stuff that's going to be used for our aerial or our big ladder. We have ladder belts just to tie in okay. and after somebody gets scared, they can hook in and we come get to them. Okay, very cool. So like safety harnesses yeah, basically. Safety. And okay. then this is just some more tool bags. The average Joe stuff you're going to have at your garage. Yeah. We carry those as well. And this wow, is, this is a really big compartment. Yeah, this is the driver's favorite compartment. Why it, is it the driver's favorite compartment? Because it has all our big hose in connection. So when you're a driver, you can hook up this to the hydrant, up to the intake. Okay. And water will come in here, and it goes into that big old tank, and then comes out to one of the hoses that you handled. Okay. So we have all kinds of adapters to make everything work. So you have a five inch, you have three inches, and then you got some really cool tools, even over here. So you just have axes, a small pike pole or hook, bolt cutters, 
That's like they use every yeah. square inch of this truck to store tools. That is so unique. Yes, sir. And then the typical shovels. <clears throat> yeah, well, shovels are important, right? Yep. That looks like a snow shovel, but I know it's not a snow shovel because we don't need those here in Texas. Unless maybe you're out in Amarillo a couple times a year. Thank goodness we don't need them here. Well, we did a couple years ago. Anyways. <laughs> okay. And then... Wow, what is this like? This looks really cool. It looks like it's on some kind of pole or something. Yeah. I guess so, that goes up in the air. Yep, this will be one of the stuff for scene lights that we can use okay. just to see really, really fall. Wow, you guys have so many different lights, but that's really important because a lot of times fires could happen at night, right? No right. Accidents or anything like that. You never know it's gonna be day or night because you work 24 or 48 hour shifts, right? 48 hours. So you get two dark periods during your one single shift. Whew, that is tough work. Last but not least, where y'all saw me, is the driver's seat. That is so cool, the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a big steering wheel. That's even bigger than a normal steering wheel. Yep. Well, I don't see any keys in there, so I guess I don't get to drive it today. But I'll keep researching and seeing where you guys keep these keys okay. at. <laughs> when you find them, you let me know. And that's cool, it's got everything just like a normal vehicle, a gas and a brake, but that brake pedal is probably a lot more powerful than what we have in our own yeah. vehicles. It's got a lot yeah, of weight to stop. Yeah, but you would call an engine brake. Oh, And okay. that helps with the different shifts. In the Does it, it makes a funny noise when you mm -hmm. do the engine brake, right? Yeah. So is this driving like driving an 18-wheeler almost? Yep, so we can have that, and then we have different levels in here for switches. So when it's like really, really rainy, we turn the engine brake off and then we will have full control of this. Oh, okay. Because we don't want the tires to slip. Wow. Whew, that is so complicated. Not only do you have a really important stressful job when you get off of the truck to do your job, but just getting everybody safely there too. Yes. And I guess you have to blow that horn a lot to make sure everybody knows you're coming and to get out of your way. Yeah. <laughs> a very, very loud siren. Oh, I see it. Is this the siren right here? These are the sirens. Wow. And see, we're at station 34, so there's the number right there. And is that the biggest nozzle we have? Wow. That nozzle, what is that? Oh, that connects to the ladder, so they yeah. can actually spray off of the top of the ladder. Yep. That's so cool. So the firefighters don't actually have to drag a hose up the ladder. Not for this truck, no Thank sir. goodness, that's good. That, that saves a lot of time, and it's also a lot safer to use, I assume. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, it's been such an adventure here with the Montgomery County Fire Department ESD3 here at Station 34 in Montgomery, Texas, right by Wood Forest. Wow, that was a lot to say. We got to spray a water hose. We got to look all around this amazing fire truck inside the fire station. And we even met firefighter Courtney here. She was so fun. And thank you for showing us all around this truck. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. And thank you for doing what you do for us. That's the most important part. Whenever you see somebody in uniform out in public, you always wanna make sure to tell them thank you for doing what they do because they put their own lives at risk to make sure that we're safe and if we ever have any trouble that they come to our, our rescue as quickly as possible. So that means a lot to the community and seriously, I just wanna say thank you. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, well make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack right here on YouTube. That way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we go on a lot of them. And until next time I see you, you wanna do the jump with me? I can do the jump. All right, you. let's count. One, two, two three. three. Yay!